There are a few methods by which you can connect to the Aspen Series device. Simply go to the Connect menu once you've launched your control panel. You can select USB simply by having a USB cable from your PC to the Aspen Series device. You can see that it's been discovered. Click OK. And now it will load all of the settings. And notice also, I'm connected to an SPN 1624 that also has an SPN conference as a slave. So once you've connected to the master, all other devices that are slaves will also be discovered and listed under the Aspen devices. Once I select the Aspen device that I want, it will create its control panel and I will be ready to program it. Let's go to the connect menu. We'll select disconnect. And now let's go to the connect menu and choose network. Um, the default port of the Aspen series devices is 4080 and this is the IP address of the Aspen device that I'm currently connected to and I'm going to click on refresh. It finds the Aspen device. I click OK and now we are connected via IP. I'll select the device. The control panel is built and uh, you'll notice that uh, it's reading the device settings and it says connection mode is Aspen Net and uh, 1624 serial number version and the current preset. It will say USB if we are connected here via USB. And uh, the final way would to connect would be via serial. And if you select serial, if you have a serial cable connected, the cable that you require would look like this. Let me bring it up. I'll go to the Aspen reference. And with an Aspen reference, we can go to getting started. And here is connecting over RS-232. And it not only describes the serial port, but you can also get a diagram that shows the wiring uh, that is necessary. It's a standard female DB9 to male DB9 standard cable to connect. It's a 235 cable and there's two pin pairs, 4 and 6 and 7 and 8 that are jumpered. Then you can connect serially to the device if you choose. So those are the three ways to connect to the Aspen device, USB, network, and serial.